so I took it out for a ride today. And the nuts come undone. Now what? Okay, so looking in my throttle tube. How come this is so hard? Yeah, my throttle cable is all rusty. Man, it's rusty. No wonder it don't fucking work right. I mean, it works a little bit, but it's all rusty and full of um, stuff. It looks all right. After about 300 miles, it don't look too, uh, it's not rich, that's for sure. But it is running hot. Right, I took the seat off. I took the tank off. And, uh, so now I haven't got a clue what to do, I'm going to have to go and uh, look at something else to do. I've got bloody condensation on the inside of the clock. So I've got to do this. I've got to get this thing sorted out quickly, you know. Alright, next off is the carburetor. And I seem to remember, if I undo this, and undo the airbox and pull it all back, it does seem to come off as one. So basically it was a 10 mil, a 10 mil, just to loosen the airbox, undo that flap, give it a little, give it a little wiggle, and back it came, which is enough to get the cylinder head off. Right, next off is the exhaust, and I seem to remember, to take the exhaust off, I've actually got to take that pedal off as well. So that's a 17 mil, and this is where the nuts and bolts start to add up. Okay, I found top dead centre down there. Um, remove the taco housing. Now I'm just going to slacken the, remove the stay, as you'll see, the steady. Gonna slacken. So I've uh, whipped off the head and I've uh, wrapped it in cling film. Now I've just got to knock these tabs back and take these 10mm bolts out. I'm pretty sure this has just failed the gasoline test. I mean, I filled that up and uh, it's pretty well down here to here. So if I, if I tip it back up this way, eventually I could probably get rid of all the fuel in there. Just, oops, I'm tipping it away now, so that's no good. Anyway, so I've got to reseat these valves. I think it's that so much carbon they're not sealing properly. I mean, it is very carbonised. You see how much carbon is in there. I'm not going to clean the piston this time because I know that a lot of carbon can improve your compression. Oh well. Here we are with the head in the kitchen. There's my valve spring removal tool. I'm gonna have to uh, figure it figure it out again. It's such a such a long time since I've used it. I mean, I think I need one of these. So this 23 millimeter is the smallest one that actually fits over the uh, fits over the collar. So. Uh, that will press down, revealing the collets. But I don't actually know what I put down on the bottom here. I've forgotten. I want to remove my iridium plug as well. I don't want to damage it. Right, so that's what my tool looks like, set up ready to use. This is where I wind it in, and uh, this sits over as shown. I've got the uh, 
resting on the valve and uh, that's gone over the uh, collar and that's what it looks like in place I'm just going to tighten this up stick a little bar through there hold it all in place and all that should just drop out Okay, I'll swap, swap that size up for the 30mm and it goes there was much less hassle getting these little collets out so 30 is the size to go on that that just rests on the valve and um, we can get on with inspecting the carbon build up on the piston valve seats alright so given that the PSI was 90 I think the inlet valve is showing well, it's definitely showing a lot of carbon and um, if it was going to be one to cause sort of a reduction 20 or 30 psi it would be this one so I'm going to find my valve seat grinding tool put some paste on that and uh, get rubbing it the new inlet valve and the old inlet valve and the new one's got a, a, a nice clean lip it's going to take less lapping the height uh, well it's, a, it's a replacement part for this one it's not going to need so much lapping in I think because it's already nice and shiny well, I basically gave this hair to clean up and uh, it's a sort of cleaned all that out uh, give them a quick reseat and uh, hopefully that will let's go put this back on the bike and see how it goes okay the head is back on torqued up correctly and then I've got to remove this and put the cam chain tensioner blade on blade cam chain tensioner blade securing bolt is in as it is the cam chain tensioner blade I've refitted the cam chain tensioner just uh, so now I've got to find top dead center keeping the cam chain nice and taut while I do so with the crank at top dead center I now want to put my little camshaft half arse bearing in this little half arse bearing slot. I want to make sure my flange pin is in place. Alright, slight change of plan as I dump the oil. I want to reuse it. I uh, suspect that the uh, cam chains come off the bottom sprocket because it's too tight to get it on the camshaft. So I've got to dump the oil, take the magneto cover off, take off the magneto, remove the starting gear. Just want to count how many tools, how many tools there are, and how many bits. Well, according to the way I took this off, actually it was still on there. It hadn't come off the damn sprocket at the bottom, which is a complete mystery to me. But there it is. It must have been something else. Right, here's a new one. Uh, the starter clutch, this is known as, uh, fell out. Um, and uh, these components fell out with it. And uh, we've got to put them back in. Now that one, I think, is is what it should look like. There's one of them that's remained in. That one is halfway, and then there's one of them that's totally out.
disco.